here we are in the township of Cayenne. It's very quiet here today, but if we go back 200 years ago, we know that there would have been 100 people farming this land. The Marquis of Stafford was hugely important to the improvement policy in this area. The rents they were getting from their tenants were maybe, uh, maybe a tenth of the rent that they would get from incoming sheep farmers. This was an opportunity too good to miss. Back then there was no public consultation. This was policy. There was heavy handedness to the level of cruelty and this idea of burning the roofs of the tenants' houses, that was the final straw, so to speak. It prevented your tenant from ever returning to their homes. There was great resistance to this from the tenants. They didn't want to leave their homes. They had no real rights. Landowners were the people that wrote the law. They administered the law. And law was there to oversee things like the clearances. The people who lost their livelihoods and their land here 200 years ago had no say in the process. They would not have chosen to do that. That's exactly the same in the countries that we're working in. Land 26 times the size of Scotland has been cleared from poor communities across the world in the last 10 years. People have been removed from their land, they've had little choice in that process. Land grabs around the world are one of the factors which are causing one billion people to go to bed hungry every night. Scotland can play its part. We're asking the Scottish Government to host a global land hearing this year in Scotland, bring in international speakers and to look at the whole issue of how land is acquired around the world. I, mean, I think it's a fantastic idea. So happily uh, working with, with Oxfam, with the F campaign to see how we make that an eventuality because I think we should. Look, Scotland's uh, history, and in fact any nation's history, has a right over its people. Uh, that right is that you learn the lessons of that history. But not only do you learn the lessons, but you export those lessons to others that are perhaps going through the same thing. Decent investment, investment done well, is a fundamental building block of development. Where it's done better, you see better outcomes for everybody. So an area the size of Loch Ness has been sold, licensed or leased every four hours. There are the same things happening in countries around the world and I think it's so important that no matter where you are um, in whatever country that you are able to have a voice.